My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 18 of the 120 Days to Jam Commerce with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at large scale retailing. Large scale retailing is where you see variety of products on a single building. And a major feature of large scale retailing is that it has so many large capacity. Mega products are being sold. When you enter a large scale retail shop, you see a lot of things you are looking for in very, very large quantity. To buttress my point, these are some of the examples of large scale retailing. We have the departmental stores, we have supermarkets, we have multiple sh uh, shops or chain stores, we have the mail order business, and we have the hypermarket. Then, the retail cooperative society. These are top examples of large scale retailing. Now, what is the departmental store? The departmental store is a large scale retailing where you see so many stores are housed in the same building. If you've ever seen a building or a storage building or two storage building, Looking at that building, you see a store, 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 you see a store. Big big stores. They are selling variety of products. All these are referred to as departmental stores. And it is an example of large scale retailing. Then supermarkets. Supermarkets is an example of large scale retailing. Supermarket is a social hub where you have option for self service. You see a large building, large building, or a very big hub, and you see they sell different things. They are selling golden more here, they sell drinks here. Yeah. Pampas, close toothpaste, different products. You go there, you take a card, the one you can hold in your hand, or the one you push. You pick this, you drop. You pick that, you drop. You pick this, you drop. After everything, you go to where you need to check out. They scan all the products and they say, this is how much you need to pay. Multiple shops or chain stores are similar stores with branches scattered all over the country. Look at this. If you look at ShopRite, ShopRite, you look at Walmart, you look at Spa, they are similar stores with different branches and each branch we have somebody managing them. So all these are multiple shops or you can call them chain stores and they are examples of large scale retailing. Many of that business is another example of large scale retailing. You probably make or you make others in post office. You go there, you say, okay, I want this, I want that, I want that, I want that. After making the order, everything you've ordered will be sent to you directly. That is a mail order business. Then hypermarkets supermarkets hypermarkets so what is a hypermarket now look at this take the difference between supermarkets and hypermarkets to be that hypermarkets are bigger than supermarkets or they are mega supermarkets 
let's say you see a normal supermarket around when you go to a hypermarket you see that they have up to 25 different checkouts and more than 50,000 square units a whole lot of large area so massive so mega different 25 different persons checking you out in supermarkets you can have let's say five checkout c7 or let's say 10 but when you see a lot of checkout people are paying here paying here up to 25 places or more and it is so massive you say that no 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 this is a big supermarket as such it is a hyper market then retail cooperative society look at the concept of retail cooperative society you remember we have small scale retailers you see all these persons individuals or small scale retailers they come together they pull money you bring so amount bring so amount when they gather the money it becomes so so big that they are able to get products at so much large quantity at that point they are no longer just consumers they are no longer small scale retailers they are large scale retailers when they get those products in mega quantities they begin to sell among themselves you buy you buy you buy after selling they share the profits among themselves based on how many you buy and ladies and gentlemen after every class you are expected to get the flash learner jam application it will help you to pass and play with a lot of questions so visit flashlearners.com right now to install various versions of the application see you in the next class